Hey, what's up? This is NYC here. It's been a while since I did one of these videos like this. And this is my review of Days Gone. I've been dealing with some health issues. Hopefully, I'll get my channel back on track. And for all my subscribers, I appreciate y'all. Pretty soon, um, if I can get to like 500 subscribers, and I'm, I might start doing giveaways and stuff like that. So, um, And just comment. Anybody who likes my videos or anything just comment what you like what you want what you want to see more of but uh again this is my days gone review and uh so far this game is decent i'm, I'm i am kind of you know disappointed though the fact it's been in production for quite a long time and the fact the graphics actually are even on a ps4 pro they're okay but I was playing like Last of Us, and I'm, I'm doing a side by side. I'm gonna do a series of side by side, Last of Us versus Days Gone, and then Days Gone versus Dead Rising, four, and just kind of compare, kind of compare the games. But uh, what I'm getting, this is it. Kind of reminds me of GTA for Lost in the Damp combined with The Walking Dead, is what it is, and. Everything is seen so simple. It, you know, like the crafting system is simple. The combat system is simple. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's not as hard. But hey, you know what? It also reminds me of The Witcher 3. The different things. Like, uh, it has, like, the little question marks. Like, you can go visit the little question marks and there's stuff going on. So, um... And Witcher 3, if you're familiar with Witcher 3, it has like the little question marks. And you go on there and you could find different events happening and stuff like that. But other than that, this game, out of 10 stars, I'd probably give it 6.5 to 7 stars so far. Um, the save system doesn't really do it justice, especially with missions. Like if you're five minutes away and you have to go somewhere five minutes and you die then you have to go back to the beginning there's no checkpoints um and again you know the graphics are kind of disappointing but i must i would say this this is this is actually a it's a pretty good zombie game pretty good zombie horror game in that area and the fact that it could have hundreds and hundreds of zombies on one screen at once, you know, that's actually pretty good com compared to other games. You know, you know, like Dead Rising 4 has that ability to do that. But if you look at Dead Rising 4, the graphics are kind of cartoony. These graphics are, you, you, you could see, and hopefully you guys will watch my side by side, Last of Us versus days gone video which i'm having that i'm gonna do some other stuff like that but far as i've seen and I, i've maybe played about four or five hours into it you know it's pretty fun to run over zombies with motorcycles but in a sense i almost wish they would have did some combo stuff man that zombie just jacked me off my bike and i ended up dying here against three zombies that was, you know, bam. Knocking him out with my baseball bat, but I sh should have healed. I was being stubborn. But you can see the the combat looks kind of weak too. But uh, I don't know. It's just I feel like I'm playing a cheaply made game. Even though it's years in production, they've been working on it. It just, it doesn't feel like it's up to the quality of certain games. Last of Us, that was an awesome game. And it has great quality, even on the PlayStation 3. I've played on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. But... You could just look and see. It almost kind of reminds me of Watch Dogs 2, Watch Dogs 1. The graphics, the environments, the settings, stuff like that. Kind of reminds me of that. 
I was I was really hoping for a deep game and volume, you know, full, a fully beautiful game, kind of like uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, Spider-Man, even Odyssey, even Assassin's Creed Odyssey was a beautiful game, even though the game is not really that good, but since I feel like the world is dull, boring, I'm going to say I feel like so far it's boring, the voice acting so-so, the story is so-so, it's all it's all predictable. Again, this game, it I feel like it should live up to the standards of the production it's been in, but no, it's not. It's very disappointing so far. And I'm going to read off some of the other reviews, and my review is, it's boring for what it's worth. For the most part, though, six and a half stars, pretty much six and a half stars. You know, like I said, six to seven stars would be my, six and a half stars would be my review on this game. I've heard I guess some other bad reviews. So far, Metacritic is 72 out of 100. Destruct, uh, excuse me, Destructoid, 6 out of 10. EGM, 5.5 out of 10. Game Informer, 7.8 out of 10. Game Revolution, 4 out of 5. Game Slot, 5 out of 10. Games Radar, 3.5 out of 10. And here, IGN, actually 6.5 out of 10. I didn't even know anything about it. And it's funny because I gave it 6.5 out of 10. Um, pretty much, uh, they said Days Gone has mixed or average reviews. Critics felt that the gameplay and world design showed promise, but ultimately felt underdeveloped. And criticized the story's dull and meandering. Nothing it did little to characterize the protagonist. And that's pretty much what I've been saying this whole video. I felt like the world is... I feel like a game that should be in that much production, it should come out be way better than these open world games. Even better than The Last of Us, but Last of Us was a great game. But I hope you guys find this review pretty good. Um, I enjoy doing this for y'all. I'm going to start making more videos. I appreciate y'all very much. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week, weekend, month, year. Um, hit me up on my comments. You guys take care. Peace out.